welcome or welcome back to my channel, your sanctuary for all things home, health, and style. If you don't already know me, my name is Timber. I'm a professional home organizer and content creator. Over the past few years, I've dealt with chronic fatigue, which has really kind of forced me to take a good hard look at how I've been treating my body and different ways that I can improve my health. One thing that never ceases to amaze me are all of the crazy, wild, unnecessary ingredients that are being put into our foods. Over the last couple of years, I've tried really hard to skip and pass by those foods that have a bunch of different added ingredients and opt for eating real whole foods instead. That's just something I could use. This popcorn is literally the most delicious popcorn I've ever had in my entire life. It's stovetop popped using this fancy little gadget that Jean-Luc got me for Christmas last year. No, two years ago. And instead of using artificial butter flavoring, I'm topping my popcorn with 100% organic grass-fed butter and Redmond's Real Salt. Once you've had real popcorn like this, I'm telling you, you will never crave those bagged microwavable popcorns ever again. Now, movie theater popcorn, that still kind of tempts me, but then I just think of the ingredients that are in it and I'm good. <laughs> I actually will make this popcorn and put it in a container and bring it to the movie theater so that way I can still enjoy some popcorn during my movie. As the weather's been almost 100 degrees here in Houston every single day, I found myself feeling a little bit dehydrated. So I did some research and I found these trace mineral drops. One pro of using reverse osmosis water is that it removes everything from it, but that's also a con because not only is it removing the bad chemicals and pharmaceuticals that might be in the tap water, but it's also removing all of those good minerals that our body does need. By adding just one or two drops of these mineral drops to my water, it's putting all of those good minerals back in. And now it's finally time to sit down and get to working on my quarter three journaling prompt. I feel like doing it quarterly helps me break my goals down into more attainable chunks and having to revisit it every three months and check in with myself and see where I am, I'm actually able to check a lot of my goals off my list. Whereas in the past when I would only do these annually, I would just completely forget about them by the end of the year and then probably around November, December, I'd start thinking about my goals for the upcoming year and be like, oh shoot, I completely did not do anything. <laughs> so if you struggle with remembering your goals and staying on track like I do, this would be perfect for you. This is my favorite planner from Sugar Paper. I get it at Target every single year, this exact planner, because it's laid out exactly how I love my planners. At the beginning of each month, it has a page for notes where I'll usually journal and reflect on the previous month and kind of think about goals that I want to achieve for the upcoming month. And then it has a place where you can put in your personal goals, work goals, financial goals, you name it. 
Then on the next page, it has the full calendar, which I'm very excited about because I recently had the idea to start doing a gratitude journal. And I think it will be perfect to use that full month calendar grid. So that way I can just jot down a couple of things every single day. And then at the end of the month, I'll have this whole calendar filled up with all these things that I'm grateful for from each day. If you don't already use Canva, I would highly suggest that you check it out because it is so versatile and it comes in handy so much. I use it for my business, Sean Luke's business. I use it to create personalized like birthday cards for my friends. And obviously I use it for my vision board as well. I feel like the days of clipping out magazines and creating a collage are long gone and as sad as I am about it, I am glad to have the same capabilities in Canva and it actually turns out a lot neater. I like to print mine out and put it in this frame that I can see perfectly from my desk. That way I can just look over and be reminded every single day about my goals. Something I've been trying to do a lot more lately to work on both my mental health but also my physical health is being barefoot outside. When I was back in high school, I had a boyfriend whose dad was really into grounding and earthing and I remember we would go on walks around the neighborhood in Healdsburg and just walk across everybody's lawns in our bare feet. And I did not really understand the theory behind it at that point, but I liked going on walks and I liked being bare feet, so I was always down for it. But now there's so much information out there about grounding and the benefits of it and how it helps with inflammation. And through your bare feet, it helps introduce your body to microbes that you wouldn't necessarily be introduced to if you were wearing shoes. You guys have probably realized by now that I'm not the best at explaining the science behind things, but if you do a quick YouTube or Google search, I'm sure there will be a ton of things that come up that could explain it to you a thousand times better than I can. If it sounds interesting to you, I encourage you to take a look. Another thing I've been super interested in lately is frequencies. Did you guys know that honey is one of the only things in this entire world that will never go bad? I learned the other day that they even found pots of honey from ancient Egypt that were still intact and the honey is still edible from it today. If you guys had the opportunity to try a spoonful of that ancient honey, would you? <laughs> I don't think that I could honestly say that I would eat it, but maybe if five other people ate it before me, I might give it a try if nothing happened to them. <laughs> but bringing it back to frequencies, it's apparently the frequency of the sound that the bees' wings make as they flap inside their hive that like alters the chemical structure of the honey and makes it such a perfect thing and you know there are a lot of studies too about beekeepers and because they're around the sound of the buzzing bees and those flapping wings and that frequency the beekeepers live super super long lives and are generally pretty healthy this is a topic that I'm super interested in and I'm really looking forward to learning more about it. A couple of months ago, I started nannying for a new family and I've been taking them to the library every single week and I got a library card myself and I have been loving it. I don't know how I haven't had a library card in like the last 10 years. The amount of money that I've saved from not having to buy books on Amazon and instead just check them out from the library has been incredible. 
And because it's free and money is not really a roadblock, I've been finding myself checking out such a wide variety of books and looking into topics that I probably wouldn't have looked into as deeply if I had to pay money for those books. It's so fun to go browse the aisles and the library that I go to also has a free seed library where you can pick out a seed from there every single time. It's one seed packet per person per visit. And so far I've gotten cucumber, watermelon, squash, wildflowers. The next one I wanna get is fennel. They've had that for a couple of weeks. Oh, I think I got some blue bonnets from there. It really is just, such a wonderful place and if you are close to a library I highly recommend you guys go check it out. I promise you you will not regret it. Well, thank you so much for spending the day with me. This has been so fun. Days like this are honestly days that fill up my cup more than any other types of days, like sitting down, making lists, planning for the future, doing some gardening, spending some time outside in the sunshine, fulfilling my homesteading dreams by folding my laundry that was dried on the line and then making a nice home-cooked dinner in my cast iron pans. Oh my gosh, living the dream. Normally at the end of my videos is where I would thank any new subscribers, but because I took such a long break, I honestly haven't gotten any new subscribers in the longest time. So if you feel so inclined and you would like to hit that subscribe button, I would appreciate it, but no pressure whatsoever. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Timber and together we'll make every moment at home extraordinary. Color.